Hey guys, um, I haven't been on live in so long and I'm excited to be back because I am doing an interview with Flip De Niro. Um, so it's always awkward because I think the notification just went out. Um, so thank you to everyone who is joining. Um, just waiting on Flip De Niro to come in. I see you guys. Sal the artist, not the cat one. Rebel Nick, Mr. Gonzo, and I see all of you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Um, how are you guys doing today? So I'm excited to talk to Flip De Niro about taking chances. So I haven't done a classroom in a while, but um, I'm excited to talk to him about taking chances. I see him in here. Oh, man. It's going. Let me bust this up. Yo, what's going hey, on? How are you? Uh, I'm chilling. I can't complain. How's I'm good. So I don't know if you remember, we did an interview two years ago, and we had the best after picture when you did Leave Me Alone, where I was like pushing you away for like this thing. It was really funny at Dash, and you said really? it was one of your favorite pictures. I got to send it to you so you can see it. Send me that. Send me that. Send me that. What's good? It's Good. Um, so there's so many things I want to talk to you about today. First, I want to say thank you um, for joining and doing this interview with me. So we're going to talk about the single, the album and all of that. But what I love, I love the single to start with. No, no, no. Um, it's really funny because I found myself just singing the no, no part. I have a terrible singing voice, so I can't do it on here. But anytime I didn't want to do something, I found myself just hearing you say no, 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 no. Um, and I really love that the theme of the song you're talking about taking chances. So I want to talk to you about different things in your life where you took different chances in different categories and how it worked out for you so that it can inspire people to take chances on themselves. Um, well, yep, can you um, hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, so a perfect example of me taking chances was taking a chance with the music, you know what I mean? I knew I was destined to make music, you know what I'm saying? It's in me, you know what I mean? I just make vibes off the regular. I do that shit just to do it for fun, you know what I'm saying? So I, I quit I quit school, I quit my job, I did a lot of shit to really chase what, this music. What were you going to school for when you did it and for your job, and how scary was it to quit school and your job? And like, what was hey. some of the backlash you got from it? And let's start with that. Hey, um, shit. It was crazy. The backlash was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I was just going to school. I was going to school for liberal arts. For liberal arts. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. going for my pops because he was on my ass about that shit. That nigga, he was really strict. You know what I'm saying? I'm Haitian. You know what I mean? So yeah. I can't play with that school shit. So school was serious. And um, I had got a little bullshit job through my big brother. You feel me? Okay. He had hooked me up with a little vibe, you know what I'm saying? I was a little stock boy packing boxes and shit for hats. So I quit yeah, that shit. Hats, were they? Yeah, I, I, quit, I quit that shit. I wasn't with that shit. Or um, So you said that your dad was strict with school. So I'm excited to talk about school because I have my own take with that. And it's crazy how school really is kind of a waste of time unless it's for something like being a doctor or a firefighter or uh, something so uh, when you went to school and you chose liberal arts were you just like fuck it i just have to pick something or did you have any interest in the classes where you were taking or was it just to um, no, get your dad off your ass no 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 school school ain't a waste of time you know what i'm saying i'm actually about to go back to school nice. what are you going for? about to re-enroll back in college that shit not a waste of time it's just mm -hmm. for what i was trying to chase and what i'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the school is not a waste of time. What'd you say? What are you going for? No, I was going for liberal arts. Liberal. What I'm about okay. to go back management. I'm about to just try to knock yeah. out those shit I gotta knock out. Yeah. yeah. I gotta go to school for like all the little electives and bullshit like that. Yeah. What I got my favorite? I got my credits from from taking statistics and chemistry and all that bullshit. I pass all the hard <laughs> It's the simple things where I got to sit down and yeah, she was annoying. What were some of your favorite classes in school? Like, even if it was the electives, if you had to pick one of them? Um, I could say statistics. I fucked with statistics. It was, it was cool. Okay. It was cool. 
it wasn't it wasn't nothing crazy it was a vibe um and also so i see you guys leaving com uh, not comments leaving questions if you guys do have questions for flip once i'm done with my interview questions i'll open it up to the fans as well so feel free to submit Word. them as well even looking at the comments. Yo, what up? What up? What up? Yo, go tune into that. No, 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 man. Stop playing. I wasn't even paying. No, I really, I really do love this thing. I love because it's, it's like a, you can like relax to it and chill to it because it's singing and also rapping, but I really, really liked it. Um, for Taking Chances, so you covered career and how you took a chance on that. Um, let's talk about taking chances on yourself, even outside of your career. Mm-hmm. My life is my career, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know, no, I wouldn't, every chance I took was regarding my career, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you talk about, like, some regular day lifestyle shit, I don't know. No, but, like, my life was, like, the biggest chance I took in my so, career. Did you have, because I think that when people want to take chances, it's, they, they won't do it out of fear. So how do you overcome fear when you want to take, like, a big risk and take a chance on yourself? You know what I mean? Fear is just something that's in your brain. Fear is what you make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything is possible. I don't give a fuck what you think of. You know what I mean? You can think of getting 100000 today and make that shit tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. fear fear is just an obstacle in your brain that you got to overcome. In all honesty, I don't. You froze for a little bit, but now I can hear you. Hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Fear is just something that's in your brain, man. I don't really pay attention to that shit. I'm going to just keep working and doing me. That's my energy. Keep it real with you. I love that. What's the next goal that you have your have for yourself with your career? Next goal I have for myself. To be comfortable enough to put other artists on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got my circle. I got my. I got my small collective crew. A bunch of. I oh know. My fault. My fault. I got my small. <laughs> my fault. I got my small collective crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lives are always so awkward. I've had. I've had my light turn off. I've had people call my phone. So it's all good. Um, as far as for artists, because you said you want to put people on, what advice do you have for people who, like, what would you look for in an artist when it, it becomes that time for you to put them on that you learned in your career? Just want it. That's it. You know what I mean? If someone doesn't, if someone doesn't meet your expectations, is that that person's fault or is that your fault? Your fault. That's your fault because you put <laughs> on that person, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I could never expect, I could, I could always expect something from someone, but my expectations, I'm not expecting you to fulfill my expectations to the full extent. You know what I'm saying? If I just dwell on like someone really wanting that shit, like, yo, if you got the passion and you want it, get that shit. That's why I chill with people who want that shit. I'm going to keep it real with you. My homies, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Najee. Shout out to Los. Shout out to Killer Cam, KDK, Savvy Sav. Those are my people. They want it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look. I love that. I, and I love that you even brought up expectations because I wasn't even going to talk about that when you have that. Was there something that happened? Did you, was there a lesson that happened in your life that made you realize that it's your fault for having expectations for other people? Or were you just always like that? Nah, it's just being let down by people. Simple. Mm -hmm. Everyone is human. I could tell you, I'm going to call you today and not call you. You feel me? You're yeah. going to be me like damn i really expect him to call me he didn't call me like that's just how i look at it keeping right. your word i love that um even though that you said that your whole life has been your whole life is your career um do you have any stories or lessons that you can tell people as far as taking chances in like on your family and your friends or in love and relationships because i think that's something that also people struggle with in those categories and would love to hear if you have any advice on that i mean i, I take chances with trust and i mean that's something in life that i take a lot of chances with you know what i'm saying that's that's not a physical thing I take chances with trust mm -hmm. i trust a lot of people i used to trust a lot of people and a lot of people let me down you feel mm -hmm. me I do you do you believe that once trust is broken, broken, it can be restored, or do you think it's gone forever after that? 
when people let you down. You know what I'm saying right. love is not loyalty. Loyalty is different than love. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you can always get back from a broken relationship with trust. Yeah. You know I mean, but it's still gonna happen in the back of your mind. It's dependent on that person if they're gonna. You feel me? Exactly. No, I love that take on it. Um, so I know that your album, it was supposed to come out later this year, but it will be next year. So what can we expect um, on this album? And I, I know you probably can't say what, what features or what the songs are, or the title or anything, but what can we expect from you from this? How have you grown from an artist since the last one? Shit. I, I just grew in so many ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just embracing my creativity, you know what I mean? I'm embracing the fact that I can actually do different things and come up with different sounds and just create different vibes. I'm I'm just embracing the, the I'm I'm just embracing the the full power of being created. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look yeah. at it. That's how I evolve. How have how have you grown the most in twenty twenty? Especially during this pandemic and we've all been on lockdown and what you learned about yourself. Um shit, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you. I, I, I'm not. I'm not watching that. I don't know. That's for you to see. Yeah. Well, we will see that. Um, before I let you go, there were a few questions. Um, someone just asked, "When is this album dropping?" Next year. Top of next year. Real soon. Real, 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 real soon. Real soon. Like, are we talking like January? <laughs> Yo, real soon. Real soon. It's a vibe. Yeah, top okay. Let's see. There is um from Rashad. I'm probably gonna say it wrong. Rashad the Great. Um, how did you get the song with Little Baby? Track went harder than a motherfucker. How you get the song with Little Baby? Track went harder than a motherfucker. Nah, that shit was a vibe, man. Yo, so I actually made how I move. You know what I mean? And I just threw that shit on the gram one time. I was just asking the people, like, not even the fans. I don't like to call them fans. I call them family. I was just asking the family, like, what they think, like, how they feel about the music. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, they fuck with this shit. And then I asked them, yo, who should I feature on it? Everyone was just like, yo, Lil Baby. You know what I'm saying? So Khaled, DJ Khaled, that's my big brother. Khaled Khaled, that's my family. So I just hit Khaled one time. I sent them the track, and it was a vibe. It was lit. Thanks. The next, the next question was actually about Khaled. Are you still signed to Khaled? What? I was just on it's Facebook. Yeah, I don't know. That's big brother. That's family for life. Okay. We the best forever. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, here's another one. Um, Real Shay Lag Flip, how long have you been making music? Shit, all my life. I've been doing that shit for a long time, since I was a kid. Since you were a kid? Um, let's see. This is a funny one. There's a few more. Um, a Rojas G, one to ten. How would you rate your next album? <laughs> you said how would I rate my next album? Yeah. I should have a hundred. A hundred. Honey, honey. Okay. Let's see. And then let's take two hold on. more. Yo, hold on, hold on, real quick. I know I got my people in the live, real quick. Hold on, hold on. My mom just okay. called me. I'm a real one. I gotta call her back. Yo, mommy, what's up? I'm in the crib right now. Yo, check me out. I'm <laughs> I'm doing a little live real quick. I know you was calling me. I had to call you back. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought you were cooking. I have food for you. Look. Where? You cook some food for me? <laughs> but you're not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be home. I'm going to come see you soon. Okay, then. All right, man. I love you. You still at home? <laughs> yeah. That, this is a real exclusive. <laughs> you hear? I got you, man. I love you. Don't go outside. Yeah? I got you. <laughs> Bye, Shitty. Mm -hmm, yeah. Love you. Love you too. My fault. She was calling me. I had to call her back. I don't play that. That's okay. No, I love that. Oh, I, I, you mean, clearly have a really great relationship with your mom. Like, what's the best piece of advice your mom has given you? Stop smoking weed. <laughs> Stop smoking weed. <laughs> How long have you been smoking weed? Um, shit. It's just like, I, I don't really want to answer that because I don't want to influence someone. Tell <laughs> me, but I do my own thing. Okay. <laughs> there was actually a lot more questions that came in, but I don't want to keep you in for too long. How many more do you want to answer? Holla at me. Let's get like two, three more. How many did you say? 
Let's get like two, three more. What's up? Okay, I just I was laughing. Haitian's mom don't play. She said don't go outside. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, I'm gonna pick the best two or three more that I could see. Um, um, okay, here's one. Um, Ellie made Isaac. Did you ever think that Leave Me Alone would be one of your top hits? Nah. No. I just. I just made this song to be a vibe, you feel me? I never knew it would blow up like that. Keep it real with you. I ain't, I ain't know. I ain't know. Is there a song that you had that you thought would blow up and then that one didn't? Kind of like it had the reverse effect of Leave Me Alone? Um, Yeah, I, I wouldn't say there's, there's songs that I thought would blow up, but there's mm -hmm. songs that I had expectations for, you feel me? It just mm -hmm. so happened Leave Me Alone was just so relatable and people love yeah. that shit. It was a vibe, you feel me? It still is it a really vibe. It really was. I was just bumping that shit the day, like, no cap. That shit, how this shit. It was, no, it was great. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Mm, let's see. Here's one. Favorite artist you worked with? Favorite artist I work with? I love, I love all the artists I've been collaborating with, you know what I'm saying? But... But big shout out, big shout out to my boy A hey, Boogie Man. Word. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, shout to, baby, shout out to Kodak Black, Rich the Kid. But you know what I'm saying? A hey, Boogie showed me mad love, you feel me? And then he made sure to pop out. He did his thing. Shout out to my boy A hey, Boogie. Everyone go tune in. No, no, no. It's out now. Go run it up. Run it up. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm trying to pick there's there's a few more. I'm trying to pick what is the best one. Um Let's see. This was kind of interesting and random. Favorite 80s rapper? Favorite 80s rapper. <laughs> Can I say my favorite artist that emerged in the 80s? You can say whatever you want. <laughs> this is your life. Yo, Dennis Brown. It was it? Dennis <laughs> Brown. Nice. Well, thank you so much um, for doing this live and answering fan questions. Like I said, I love the single. Everyone, make sure you go listen to it. I think you're already at, what, 2 million, 3 million views when I last checked it? I don't even it's know. Wow. Yeah. And then even... look out for the album, Name We Don't Know, but it's very, very soon at the <laughs> top of the year. <laughs> it's real soon. That shit going to drop real soon. Everyone tune in. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Go stream, no, 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 go run it up, go tap into the video, that shit is out right now. It's a movie, my boy A Boogie. You just know what it is, let's get it, come on. All right, thank you. Go call back your mom and check on her. I appreciate it. All Love. right, have a good night. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Thanks.